download and reconcile GSTR 3B. In this chapter, we will discuss that how we can reconcile GSTR 3B data as filed on portal with your books of account. That is, if you are using any accounting software, like if you are using Busy, then how you can reconcile or compare Busy data along with the data you have filed on GST portal. Generally, this data is similar, but in case you have made any modifications in your vouchers, then you can compare that data as stored in your books of accounts and as filed on portal. To reconcile data in Busy, first of all, we'll go to Transactions, GST Miscellaneous Utilities, download GSTR JSON data, and then download GSTR 3B. On selecting the download GSTR 3B, a save GSTR 3B data window is appearing in which on the left hand side, you can see list of months is provided. And on the right hand side, a download button is provided along with each button. So here, first of all, download button provided in front of April month, we are clicking that button and this is showing that data for the month of April is saved successfully. You can see in the status field, it's showing saved. That means we have saved the data as we have filed on GST portal. Similarly, we are downloading the data for the month of May. That is the GSTR 3B data that we have filed on GST portal. Next, for the month of June also, we are downloading the data and again it's showing the status as saved along with the date on which we have saved the data or we can say we have downloaded the data from GST portal. Next, we will go to reconcile GSTR data menu and here we will select the reconcile GSTR 3B option. Basically, we have downloaded data from GST portal. Now we will reconcile or compare this data with busy data. On selecting the reconcile GSTR 3B option, it's asking filing frequency monthly or quarterly. If you have specified the filing frequency under features option GST VAT tab, then Busy will not ask about filing frequency, it will directly pick from there. But if you have specified the filing frequency as not known, so Busy is here asking that you file a monthly return or quarterly GSTR 3B return. Next, a window is appearing in which we'll specify data in various data fields, like we'll specify the starting month and the ending month. All these data fields that are appearing, we have covered all these fields in our previous chapter, chapter 21. So you'll provide data in all these data fields and click OK button. On clicking the OK button, a reconciled GSTR 3B window is appearing where first it's showing details of output supplies and invert supplies liable to reverse charge. Under this, there are various sections and in each section, you can see two rows are appearing. One is as per busy and one is as per JSON. As per busy means data as contained in busy and as per JSON means data as extracted from the GSTR 3B you have filed on GST portal. So generally both these values are same, but in case you have made modifications in any of the voucher or you have changed data in any of the month, then these values may differ. If there is any difference between the busy data and the JSON data, that is data downloaded from GST portal, then that difference will appear in a different color. So busy will show the difference in a different color now, next we will discuss about compare sales GSTR1 and GSTR 3B option. Basically, with this option, you can compare uh, sales data, that is data of outward supplies as contained in Busy and as per the GSTR1 and GSTR 3B filed on GST portal. So again, Busy is asking the filing frequency and then we'll specify the starting month and the ending month. On clicking the OK button, a compare sales GSTR1 and GSTR 3B window is appearing. This report will show only the tax amount and the taxable amount. So here you can see at the left hand side, month is appearing. Along with each month, a description is given which contains data as per books, that is as per busy, data as per GSTR1 filed on GST portal and data as per GSTR 3B filed on GST portal. So again, if there is any difference between the data as per busy and as per GSTR1 or difference as per busy or for GSTR 3B, then that difference will appear in a different color. In the month of May, you can see no data is appearing. This is because you may have filed a nil return. So in case values are appearing blank, which means no data exists for this month, or we can say we have filed a nil return. So here you can see for the month of April, data is perfectly fine. For the month of May, no data exists. And for the month of June, there is a difference between data as per GSTR1 and as per busy. 
and as per GSTR 3B and as per BSEE. So here are differences appearing. So with the compare sales GSTR 1 and GSTR 3B option, you can compare your output supplies with the GSTR 1 filed on GST portal and GSTR 3B filed on GST portal. So this is all we have to discuss in this particular chapter. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.